I think that takes us five o'clock. Good afternoon, everyone. Um, this is the last session for today. Um, LCA 09 on the Wednesday. And um, if I may introduce uh, Satoshi, who's going to give us a little talk on B tracks. And um, thank you. Thank you. Um, my name is Satoshi Oshima. Uh, I'm uh, I'm present to you about uh, B tracks. Um, um, before uh, this presentation, uh, uh, please um, interrupt, uh, fr interrupt freely. But uh, the my English ability is very very limited. So if you um, ask a question or something, uh, please speak slowly and clearly. Please. Yep. Okay. Let's start. Um, uh, firstly, um, let me introduce myself. I'm from uh, Kanagawa, uh, next to Tokyo, uh, Japan, and I'm currently working for Hitachi. And um, I have contributed to the system tab or uh, network stuff or some other small stuff in kernel. And uh, this is a day's table of contents. Um, I will explain briefly about the beat rights and um, uh, I'll show you the background implementation and how to use it and evaluation and uh, to do and conclu conclusion. Okay. Uh, first of all, what is Btrux? Uh, Btrux is an abbreviation of branch trace tracer for Linux, and Btrux can show the uh, C, C++ source code coverage and uh, binary execution path. So the title of this presentation is a bit misleading because um, this cannot, uh, Btrux cannot generate the test case itself. Um, uh, currently, Btrux shows the uh, coverage analysis, and um, but hopefully, I, I make the Btrux to become the co coverage test tool. Uh, I'll talk about later. This is a screenshot of the Btrux. Um, as you can see, the green line is the uh, executed line, and red one is a not executed line. And um, Btrux also provides the um, statistics like the function coverage or branch coverage or uh, state coverage stand for the, um, the basic block coverage. And this is the function level coverage. Okay. Uh, I'll show, I'll explain the background of the development of Btrux. And uh, the, uh, the coverage test is the coverage test measured the uh, 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 either a kind of software testing method, and uh, the coverage test describes the degree to which source, uh, source co code of the program has been tested or uh, executed. The uh, code coverage test stands for the uh, tester try to cover all line of the source code for ensuring the uh, correctness uh, not only in the normal pass but the um, error pass or um, the uh, uh, in normal pass. So uh, this is very necessary um, test for robust software, but. Uh, I know the code coverage test is necessary, and my employer requires me to do it uh, all of our uh, software for release. But I'm too lazy to do it correctly. Um, sometimes my employer requires me to do the full path coverage, uh, but it is impossible sometimes because um, it must be become the a very strict. Um, um, require the very strict timing or timing bugs or uh, sometimes uh, the hardware error or you know, something like that. So it sometimes it is impossible. So and coverage test by hand is too boring. I sometimes try to cover 100 percent coverage and using system tab for the injection function and uh, light down the long long code to reproduce a very strict pass, but uh, I, I don't like that. So I need cool stuff for it. Uh, what what I need is 
the automatic coverage analysis tool and uh, hopefully it generates a test case also and uh, I need um, the application test and kernel test so and um, hopefully I don't want to recompile or relink for coverage this because uh, some QA guides uh, do not believe that the coverage test on the recompiled or changed binary. So uh, I need uh, a no recompiled um, coverage test uh, coverage analysis tools. And um, uh, to realize the, um, the these requirement, we can use binary emulator, um, the architecture emulator, but it is too slow. So the better performance than uh, binary emulator is required. So the how to implement the BTRAX. Um, the trick is BTRAX is uh, to use the branch trace store function. Uh, this is a built-in debugging function since Pentium 4 or Pentium M. Um, the um, do you know the last branch record? Um, you may not know that. The um, uh, BTS corrects the last branch record um, by uh, the processor. Uh, after that, I explain um, briefly. And also, I the BTRAX analyze the binary file and getting the address of the uh, core instruction or jump instruction uh, with the um, bin utils or bin utils or f utils and uh, reproducing the execution path with this information and mapping to the source code. This is the uh, structure of BTRAX. Um, this is a trace buffer. Um, user um, run the uh, LAPAS BTRAX LAPA script and BTRAX LAPA script driver um, BTRAX driver. And BTRAX driver set the BTS buffer and get get the BTS information to the ReFS buffer and BTRAX D read the uh, ReFS and write the trace log and log split program um, split into the each processes log and show the result. Um, this is a BTS mechanism. Um, the BTS is uh, one of the uh, precise event ba event based sampling function and um, in this picture uh, bit each record include the from address and to address and predicated flag of each call instruction or jump instruction and um, the BTS buffer includes uh, all record and uh, data s debug store buffer management um, structure is like that um, base address index and um, absolute max and um, the threshold of the uh, exception occur and there we have to uh, set the the um, the BTS buffer management area to the MSL IS32 DSA area and um, the x86-64 also has this very same uh, mechanism, uh, uh, but the, the from address and to address and predicate flag is 64 bit. And uh, also, I need uh, the BTRAX need to set the interrupt vector to the epic uh, local vector uh, table, and also uh, the, um, the uh, BTRAX uh, daemon control the um, enable and disable B, uh, BTS function. And also, BTRAX need to correct the uh, memory map at, ra uh, at runtime because the ca some modules or libraries um, map address is differ uh, from runtime time to time. So we need to get uh, we need to get the uh, map to the address. Um, we correct the uh, proc modules for module loading address and proc KO sims for function address in kernel and modules. 
and VM area struct for user space. And um, the b this also brings the binary with the b BFD library to get the um, jump or call address and decomposing the binary into the basic block. And I'll explain what is a basic block. Um, this is very simple uh, flowchart. Um, this is a basic block. Uh, block one is only the con condition, and include the uh, condition one, and uh, block two include the procedure two, uh, block three include the procedure one, and block four include the procedure three. Uh, but um, I'll show you the uh, imaginary assembly code. This is the basic block. Um, basic block is uh, in contain the only one jump or uh, at most one jump or call uh, instruction. And sometimes um, it's divided by the jump target. So basic block must not uh, be divided by jump instruction or call instruction. And um, yeah, and uh, basic block must not contain jump target address uh, other than first instruction. So if we map the BTS uh, record to the basic block like this, uh, we can see that the, at the, um, the execution path is firstly block one, and second uh, JNE instruction is not executed, and and the block to executed and jump instruction hit to the and base um, skip the um, block three and um, run block four. So we can understand that the uh, block one to four is the execution order. And uh, mapping BTS record to the Binary provides a list of the uh, order of uh, executed block, basic block. So um, we can reproduce the binary execution path with this. And now we have execution path. So we put the binary address into uh, EU address to line or address to line in B being utils. So uh, they provide the uh, corresponding uh, source, uh, source line. Um, I don't know much about this, uh, so <laughs> please ask the Laurent or uh, s some other uh, yeah, um, guys. Um, I'm only use the EU address to run. So, and uh, we use the EU address to run to color the, uh, color the uh, source code and generate the HTML file. Current uh, state. This is the current status of um, B trucks. Um, B trucks support i386 and x86 64 architecture, and um, we tested uh, the um, Pentium 4 and Pentium M and Core 2, and I believe that the um, B trucks works on Core i7 architecture, and uh, we tested the level 4. Uh, update one and rail for update three and um, rail 5.1, but um, this is tested uh, um, platform and this is not restricted to this um, distribution. Basically, other uh, um, B trucks is um, distribution independent, and the upstream kernel uh, B trucks support um, 2.6.9 to 2.6. 28 kernel and um, for the for B trucks, B utils or ELF utils is, uh, and debug info is required. Okay, um, I'll explain the how to use the B trucks. B trucks can be used in three different ways. Um, the profiling specific first one is profiling specific function or specific uh, function block in the, the application 
or profiling uh, application indicate with P uh, process ID or uh, profiling kernel. And um, to profiling uh, application or kernel, uh, you can um, exclude speci uh, specified function or uh, the yeah, uh, yes, you can uh, exclude the specified function. Um, this is the example of the uh, very uh, test code block um, uh, application um, profiling te uh, case. Um, you need to include the Btrux header and uh, you need to call the um, B tracks to start and end point. And execute, execute the test and um, you need to correct the log uh, from log buffer and um, the you, uh, you can show the um, um, the coverage like this uh, function. Uh, this is a summary view. Um, this is a fun function coverage. And this shows function coverage, branch coverage, and state coverage. Or you can see the um, HTML view like this. Uh, you can see the each li line level. Um, Execution uh, executed or not executed, and sometimes B tracks show uh, don't know uh, yellow line like this. Um, this is uh, sometimes uh, the GCC compiler uh, optimize too much, and uh, sometimes B tracks cannot find the corresponding source code uh, from the um, basic block. So sometimes the yellow line occur, but. Okay. This is another view of the B tracks. Uh, this is a um, test summary. Um, B tracks can also show the um, function tree like this: uh, sys open, do sys open, do file open, um, or uh, the. Also, B tracks also show the. Um, Execution path summary, and you can also see the ex execution path itself. But uh, it is very very long, so uh, this this uh, execution summary is very useful to see the execution. Okay, I'll show you the demonstration of the B tracks. Uh, I try to test the ver this very simple five-state function, and um, in this case, I put the um, argument uh, four argument for each line of the test. Um, I try to put uh, one. And B trucks can show like this. Um, currently, I put one for the argument, so one is executed, and also if we put, I put the eight. Um, line uh, line five is. Um, evaluated, but not uh, line six is not executed, but the line seven is evaluated and line uh, line eight. So we do every test.
um, we can see the um, the merged um, test. Uh, we can see uh, the this line is not exactly all of this um, test case, so we can understand that the test case is uh, not enough. And if we add the another test case, So, yes, the uh, full pass coverage is done. Okay. Okay. N next, I'll show you the evaluation of the B tracks. Um, there are two major way to get the coverage. I think the first one is G curve, and G curve is um, G curve require the um, the special option to compile in the for the GCC. Uh, GCC implant the profiling code into the uh, each um, brace bro uh, basic block, and um, GCC. Uh, Jacob uh, analyze and show the coverage, and the other way is architecture emulator. Architecture emulator can potentially log all activities in the running binary, so uh, it it can show the uh, coverage. Um, this is the comparison uh, against the Jacob B trucks and uh, emulator. Um, the benefit of uh, B trucks is uh, source for code modification is not required. Uh, Jacob um, requires the source code modification, uh, but it is uh, done by a compiler. And uh, Jacob also requires the recompile. Uh, B trucks doesn't uh, does not require the uh, recompile, but uh, debug info is required and um, if you try to t analyze the coverage for the kernel uh, you need to patch the kernel uh, with Jacob uh, kernel patch uh, this this is provided by uh, Linux test project so some some version of the kernel is supported like uh, 2.6.8 or 2.6.23 uh, but not um, every kernel is supported, uh, but Btrux don't do not require the uh, like the patch like that. But uh, Btrux module is required, and uh, I'll show you the performance analysis next. And the log size, the Jacob log is very small, but the Btrux log is very huge, and also architecture emulator's log will be huge I believe. Um, the performance evaluation. Um, the B trucks uh, overhead is uh, strongly depending on the uh, target application because if the uh, ap the application is um, intensively used CPU, uh, the overhead is very huge. Uh, this case in this case um, uh, Application needs uh, very I/O intensive, so the this is a very good case for B trucks. <laughs> I need, I think, I need the to show you the um, worst case, but uh, kind unfortunately, I don't have the number. Um, this is the over overhead analysis of the uh, comparison between the code B truck and uh, step counter. A step count is an uh, emulator using single step mode. Uh, uh, in this case, uh, this is uh, th this tool doesn't have any um, coverage test coverage test tool, but I used for the comparison of the uh, performance and performance evaluation. 
and you can show, see that the Vtrux uh, overhead is 4.5 times by the bare um, environment, but Gcode is only 1.1. Ah, sorry, uh, this is uh, uh, the mistake. Um, bare is the two, uh, yeah, 9.1, and Gcode is 9.2. So Gcode overhead is extremely low, but Btrux required uh, 4.5 uh, times overhead. Uh, by th for the um, w best case. Um, um, uh, okay. Um, yeah, okay. I, that's the, my, uh, the explanation was bad. Uh, we can use um, the B trucks with uh, three different way. Um, yeah, the um, I show the. Uh, fa first one, uh, profiling, yeah, but you can s s show, uh, specify the PID with B and B run the btrux command, and there is no, uh, no limitation. All, all of the applications um, yeah, um, record is uh, acquired. In your profile, you Yes, no problem. Um, Btrux um, BTS buffer is separated for uh, each CPU, and Btrux get the uh, BTS buffer into the each CPU log. And af after the, uh, the gathering the uh, BTS log, um, the um, BT log cut log tools um, pull the each. Um, each uh, application's log or kernel log split into their um, log, uh, B, um, analysis log, analysis log. So, yes, you can use the uh, SMP or hyper we also support hyper threading. So, no problem. I see, I see. Mm. Yeah, uh, agree, agree. Yes, that, that's a good idea. I, I, would, you, um, I would create the converter to the um, GCOB format or, or uh, LGCOB format. Um, actually, the B trucks acquire much, much. Um, Precise information from kernel, so the yeah, uh, yeah, losing. So, but yes, that yes, yes, agree. I I read you uh, developed a combater. Um, yes, yes. Um, I, I've already tested the bar grind, but the purpose of the um, bar grind is a little bit different. Um, so I, I know that the bar grind has a very benefit. So um, I, I think we should have uh, the bar, bar grind. Uh, the we should have the tool like bar grind for test uh, coverage test. I will explain the and uh, later. Yes. Um, is that something you see as getting better? Or do you think are there optimizations that we can do in VTrax, or is that just the way it works? Um, currently, B Btrax required the 
copy three times. Um, um, Btrux driver reads a um, B BTS buffer and writes a reAFS and um, reads a Btrux B in user and and writes the uh, data. Uh, this requires the copy uh, three times copy, but it is uh, too much, I believe. Uh, if we can use uh, splice, um, we don't have to copy to user and copy from user. We skipped it. We can skip it. So currently, we are planning to uh, use the splice to write the trace log. So I have we have uh, the optimization uh, possibility. But but uh, it helps. Uh, I don't know, um, thirty percent or yeah, like that. Yeah. Um, I I'll talk uh, later. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, the B BTS um, doesn't work on some CPU. This, this is uh, one of the uh, problem to push up, pushing Btrux upstream. Um, in some on some processors, uh, when we enable BTS function, uh, machine check occur, machine check exception occur. Yeah. That terrible. So we need to check out e uh, every um, CPU ID based uh, checking. Currently, um, we have we tested 13 uh, CPUs, and three of them doesn't work correctly. And um, core two, some core two CPU has uh, the bug, and when we Enabled BTS function, uh, machine check occur, and um, Atom processor doesn't work. But uh, the in Atom processor, uh, BTS log is not uh, generated, but just that, no machine check. <laughs> so, um, and uh, to tell the truth, uh, I've asked uh, Intel hardware guys to fix this, but. <laughs> they they tell that the um, the priority of these kind of functionality is very low. So <laughs> um, because uh, the this functionality is used by kernel hacker or very very limited people, so the validation um, priority is very low. So currently we need to um, um, fa uh, we need to make a list of uh, which CPU can work uh, correctly or not. And yes, as as you <laughs> said, uh, we I need to push on the Btrux to upstream. Um, currently, on the upstream kernel support BTS in Ptrace. Uh, context PTS function. So currently, uh, current upstream kernel co um, correct the BTS record for uh, pr application, and but um, we need kernel tracing support. And current um, BTS implementation is uh, I I don't like current BTS implementation. They try to convert the 64-bit format in inside the kernel. That is not good. <laughs> so um, we need to uh, change the current BTS um, handling method. So, but the problem needs interface. Um, 
currently a, a P, P trace um, control the uh, user application debugging um, mechanism. So it doesn't support kernel. So uh, we need to uh, I implement a very smart way to um, uh, yeah co integrate the uh, user and and kernel space. And also, we need to support the uh, al alternative macro. Uh, currently, um, Bitrack doesn't support the uh, alternative macro. If alternative macro uh, is um, put uh, another imp uh, instruction into the kernel, uh, Bitrack doesn't work correctly currently. And we need to implementing the. We also need to implementing the real automated coverage test case generator. Um, the in last year in OSDI, CLI is um, uh, the Stanford University and uh, MIT provide CLI, and I hope this will help to uh, automatic test case generation. And CLI is um, try to generate the coverage test uh, with uh, LLVM. So now we are investigating CLI. Okay. Um, conclusion. The Bitrax can show the basic block coverage and uh, binary execution path and source code line level coverage. Um, it doesn't require the any recompile, relink, and uh, source code modification. Um, it has better performance than binary emulator. So um, the Bitrax is uh, free open source software uh, you can download from SourceForge site. And also Cree, it's a paper of the Cree is on the LLVM site. And uh, BTS information is on the um, ISR Intel 64 and IS32 architecture software developers manual volume 3B uh, chapter 18 current tree. Okay. Um, the Bitrax is uh, the development of the Bitrax is supported by uh, IPA uh, of Japan and uh, in um, 2005 fr from 2005 to 2007. And legal statement okay uh, thank you very much for coming thank you very much thank you you said earlier that sometimes GCC uh, optimizations make it difficult to work out what the execution path is. Do you have uh, specific GCC uh, flags? Do you use like O2 at all? We usually use uh, the kind of default um, optimization level. So O2, O2 it's the, the default. So sometimes the yellow line occur. I think there is no no good way to avoid it. If you want to uh, cover all paths, uh, you need to uh, use O0 or uh, uh, Ah, uh, sorry, I, I can't hear you. Really? I think the current default is O2, I think.
Yeah. Um, actually, Jacob has the very same problem. If you optimize the code, uh, Jacob cannot generate 100% uh, um, um, coverage. Another question? Okay. Thank you very much for coming. Thank you.